Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my next part of Sleeping Dogs. I hope that you guys enjoy this series, and if you guys do enjoy this series, please do drop a like, because it does help this series out a lot. So let's do the next mission here. This is gonna be a police mission that we're gonna be doing. So the game's broken up into two different missions, triad missions and police missions, and there's kind of like way personal missions that sometimes pop up. But, um, let's do it here. We're talking to Mank, who's, um, uh, the drug dealer in this area. He's working for Winston again. How's your connect? You getting everything you need? No, man. I haven't been back to Popstar since I left Dog Eyes. I'm not sure how he's gonna take it. Want me to talk to him? Yeah. I'm just about out. So grab my next shipment and make sure everything is cool. So, um, uh, Ming is the drug dealer, but Popstar is the supplier in the area. <laughs> Go to Popstar's, um, uh, courtside hangout. Okay. Thank you. Around. What would a nice looking boy like you want with my boyfriend? You pop star? Who's asking? Look, I work for Winston. Dirty Ming's operating in our territory. I want to make sure he's supplied. Sure, I'll fix him up. But. But what? I gotta get paid in advance. I'll make it easy for you. A couple of deadbeat junkies owe me money. Guys used to deal for me before they became their own best customer. Collect what they owe me, and I'll hook your man up. Okay, find the deadbeats. So very unique gameplay. How it's um, uh, you're you're doing missions for the gangs, but at the same time trying to sabotage the them. Ooh. Oh. Okay, now we go get the product from Popstar, which is product is a term for drugs. Who the fuck is this? He's okay. One of Winston's guys. Yeah? Guess son on you will take on anyone these days. Who's that? Hang Shen. Best shit in Hong Kong. You got my money? Got your money. Here's your package. Tell Ming to stick with girls over 14 this time. It's the cops. Stay cool. Hey, you two! Come over here! Let's go! Stop! Oh, I rem- <laughs> Yeah, I remember this now. So even though we're an undercover cop, we, um, uh, we cannot be captured by the police again. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Handcuff them yourself there. Um, why can't I start the bike? Okay, go, go. This bike will definitely make it pretty easy to escape from the police. Um, Okay, we're good. Inspector Tang? What have you found? I got enough to bust Popstar. But I also met a supplier, a guy named Fang Shen. Find out where he hangs out, and I'll see if I can get something on him. I'll get back to you. Okay, now we just bring the drugs back to, um, uh, back to Ming. Man, I forgot how good the graphics are in this game, too. And with a definitive edition on PS4, it looks even better. Oops.
Paul Haley though, ma. Got the stuff, right? Don't worry, I got your stuff right here. Now I can start making money again. Made contact with the target Met Popstar's primary supplier. Okay. Popstars co uh, connect supplies at Lok Fu Park. Do some surveillance. Okay. <laughs> Hack the security camera, but you have to get rid of the thugs first. Okay, and I remember this. These are like side activities that you have around the world, and these, um... Uh, you have to beat up like a gang, and then you have to hack the um uh the surveillance system. Sometimes this gets a little bit hard because the enemies will um yeah like see the enemies will have like a um different weapons. Got him. Oh, I remember this. Um, let's try one, two, three. Oh, no duplicates allowed. Oh, I had... Okay, so red means that it's the wrong number. Um, uh, yellow means that the number is in the wrong place. Okay, we'll put a one here. I guess we'll put a three here. Okay, so two and zero are not there. Okay, nine. And let's do an eight. Okay. Nine. One. Let's try this. Okay. Got it. Use a surveillance feed in your apartment to bust the supplier. We should probably store this motorcycle. This is a nice motorcycle. I'm still carrying the, uh, the tire iron. North Point. Okay, I have to figure out who the supplier is. This guy. Let's see, did we get the right guy? Okay, we got him. Inspector Tang, this is Wei. Fang Shan is down. Popstar will have to reach out to another supplier. I'm thinking we bag them both at once. I agree. Now, if I'm gonna get close to him, I'm gonna need a good disguise. Can you have your people send something over? All right. Keep me informed. Got it. Made contact with a target, met Popstar's primary supplier, Popstar's supplier was arrested, Popstar's supply was cut off. Okay. Okay, so we have our first police upgrade here, uh... Wake can disarm gun-wielding enemies without a struggle, okay, that we'll probably use. Oh, 
My man, Wei! You've done good. You restored order to the night market. Well, you took a chance on me, Winston. I wanted to make sure it paid off. You got the right attitude. It's gonna pay off for you. We'll see. You know anything about the minibus racket? Well, same as everyone. If you want to drive a good route, pay the toll. That's right. You know the pickup on Marble Drive? The most profitable route in the whole fucking city. From now on, it's yours. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it, Winston. <laughs> Dog eyes, Walt. Right now, it's his route. But you know how to deal with it, huh? It'll be my fucking pleasure. Yeah, I gotta take this. Take a few of the guys with you to back you up. Jesus fucking Let's go. So the triads charge a toll to drive um, the buses through the area. That's what the minibus racket on? is. We're going on offense. Taking over Marlboro Drive. One man per stop. Anybody gives you shit? Fuck them up. Smack them around, no killing. What, afraid of little blood? Dog eyes his son on ye. We're taking the route, not declaring war. Kicking ass is fine by me. I'll take this one. Good job. Yeah, kick his ass. So there's, um... Dog Eyes guys are at each of the bus stops and they threaten passengers, tell them to pay a fee if they want to get on the bus. And, um. This is payback. Pain and simple. What if Dog Eyes complains to Big Smile Lee? What if he sends Mr. Tong after us? Look, dude. Dog Eyes might work for Lee, but Winston answers directly to Uncle Tong. Nobody going to fuck with the chairman. Nobody. The chairman is the also the, known as the dragon head. Is the boss. This is our stop now. Oh, I love that one. You could with your fist. I'll give you that. Thanks. Yeah, we have another guy with us a while back. He was good with his fist too. Came out of nowhere. Good story. Didn't talk much. You remind me of him. A lot. Turned out he was a cop. That's why he couldn't kill anyone, see? So now we know how to spot a rat. You talk a lot. You know that? You know what they do to traitors, right? When Tong is done with them, he buries them alive. Six feet under. Nobody coming for you. Hey, fuck you, Conroy. I still think about that poor fucker sometimes. So, um, that's actually somewhat realistic, is a lot of times gang members to check if somebody's an undercover cop will do specific things, like make them take drugs, or, um, see if they're willing to kill or hurt somebody. Let's go! No, 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 you stay here. I'll deal with this. Watch how a real man does it. Son of a bitch. So there's the the bus company that works for Dog hey, Eyes. You. you want this route? You gotta pay for it. Are you stoned? I already paid Dog Eyes. Belongs to Winston now. Winston? I don't know no Winston. Pull over and I'll tell you about it. You're wasting my time. How about I break your legs and see how you drive then, huh? I still drive better than you. I finish my road before you finish. Okay, okay, I'm going. Get out of here! I'm taking your passengers. Okay, okay. There's a slight problem with your bus, so we're doing a change. Don't worry, people. After a quick change of drivers, we're on our way. In America, the most um, uh, the most common police that usually has undercover cops is the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Administration. Um, they're in, they are in charge of um, uh, dealing with serious drug crimes like drug lords and suppliers. Hang on! Ah. Let me out of I don't want to be a statistic! Try to get away now. Oh, 
Oh, two more still after us. There's more, uh... Whoa, 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 this is definitely a crazy bus ride, isn't it? There's even more now, ah. Okay, drop your passengers off the night market. Now, um, the DEA had a specific policy um, that was um, uh, going on for several decades until they changed it, which was that um, uh, when somebody is an undercover cop in the DEA, they cannot take drugs whatsoever. And um, uh, the problem is, is that when they do, when somebody's pretending to be an undercover cop and they're posing as a drug dealer or they're posing as somebody that wants to buy drugs, um, then when the um, another gang member or supplier or drug dealer tells them to uh, tells them to try some of the drugs that um, uh, they wouldn't do it. And, um, uh, you know, nobody wants to do that in that case, but that's a test that they used to see whether they're a, an undercover cop, whether they will actually test some of it. And what would happen is DE, some DEA agents didn't test it, refused to, made excuses, and then got killed. And the DEA ended up changing that policy that if your life depends on it and you have to, like, you know, test drugs, that they're allowed to do that. But um, Wei is a very different kind of undercover cop because he will, um, I heard what happened, I hope everything is good, my uncle trusts you now, so you should call him, okay? So, um, uh, Wei will actually, like I said, he'll kill people, he'll beat people up, anything to gain the Sun Anyi's trust. So he's a very different kind of undercover cop. Like a man who needs to improve his word, pull up! I can't Why don't you have a pork bun like in your hand? Get in here! I save you! I brought now let's have a pork bun. Who never eats pork buns is never a whole man. <sighs> I'm starving. A man who never eats a pork Thanks, bun is never a whole man. <laughs> That's like the most common meme in Sleeping Dogs. One meat? I got good meats right here. Fresh meat here! Oh, here we go. Price includes Cajun supplies, a pet bird to our apartment. We'll get this. What can you show me? Can I interest you in a pet? They make excellent companions. They're good luck too. Now you got a sale. Thank you. I know you'll fall in love. So we bought a pet bird that will be transported to our apartment. And so this is like some of the furniture that you can buy. Massive sound system. So here we got another um, apartment upgrade. What are you selling? Hey, you want to impress the girls? Annoy your neighbors? I have a sound system here that will blow your mind. Okay. I like that, that you can buy like certain things to your um, apartment and you have to like explore the night market to like find certain vendors that will like, um, uh, that will, uh, that will sell that stuff to you. That's kind of cool. You look like you could use a whole You want music? You want games? Hey! Air conditioning. What can you show me? Oh, yeah? Looking to cool off? I got a couple of extra aircon units here. Never used. Alright, I'll take it. I'll send someone to install it. So we bought an air conditioning system, um, a pet bird, and a sound system to our apartment. So let's take a look at our apartment now. There's the bed. There is the sound system. Sound system here again too. Um, Ace, new AC, and our pet bird. Okay. 
So this is Amanda, the first um uh, girlfriend. Me. Do you speak English? I like to think so. Well, enough to get by anyways. You? Yeah, I... Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I speak English. I kind of guessed. What can I do for you? I'm looking for this place. Old Temple Academy? I thought it was around here. It's supposed to be a kung fu school, but I'm totally lost. <laughs> I have no sense of direction. Yeah, I, I think I know where it is. I mean, it's not too far. I, I can give you a ride. <laughs> I mean, it'll be easier than explaining where it is. Uh, okay, yeah, that, that'd that be really great. My name's Amanda, by the way, or Amy. Either one is fine. Oh, nice to meet you, Amy. I'm wet. So, um, uh, Amy, or Amanda, is the first, um, uh, girlfriend that Wei can meet in, um, in this game. And yes, there are girlfriends in, um, uh, uh, oh, I can't take this one? I've been using this bike for some time. Okay, I guess I have to take the one from my garage then. What can I do for you? Here. So what brings you to Hong Kong? Are you thinking of becoming Chinese? <laughs> no, no, I, uh, I just finished college, and I'm doing a bit of traveling. You know, figure- What are you doing?! Oh my god, I thought How's I was gonna gone? die there! Well, I've only been traveling for a few weeks, so no real progress on the life front, you know. But I'm checking out Hong Kong for a while. What about you? You got it all figured out? I wouldn't say that. I got a few family issues I'm working on clearing up. Maybe once that's dealt with, I'll get on to figuring out life. Oh yeah? You got any pointers? Well, the trick to Hong Kong is learning to live by ancient Chinese wisdom. Look both ways before crossing the street, always buckle your seatbelt, and only apply makeup at red lights. Don't text and drive, you know, that kind of thing. Words to live by. So this is the Bam Bam Club. Back home, I saw a restaurant that looked a little bit like this. <laughs> Don't let the locals hear you say that. So now we go to the temple, and um, I think there's four or five girlfriends in um, uh, in Sleeping Dogs. But the girlfriends in the um, in Sleeping Dogs, they're different than in GTA. Where in GTA, you can take them out on dates and like go and eat and stuff like that. But in um, in Sleeping Dogs, there's only a certain amount of dates that you can take the girlfriends out on their missions. And they have cutscenes, and there's like a bit of a story behind them. So this is um uh this is a uh, oh I can't get off the bike to get on that um okay I was gonna get that collectible, but um uh, this is Amy's first date, and then she has a second date later on. Wow, this is a pretty cool place for a kung fu school. Unfortunately, the school isn't in the temple. Well, not that temple anyway. Didn't they use this temple as a backdrop for? What was it? Fists of Carnage? <laughs> no, it was used in the Grandfathers of the Shaolin Fist. Okay, now we go to the Martial Arts School, and um, uh, her first mission is very important because it introduces you to the Martial Arts School where you can learn a lot of different new hand-to-hand um, uh, -hand moves. Isn't this school supposed to be in a temple? Can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to sign up for some kung fu classes. I read about your school in my guidebook. Ah, uh, your guidebook. Yeah. It said you teach a style with a long lineage, but in spite of all that, it's still considered very effective. You want to take classes, okay. And you, did you also read about this place in some book? Well, I... Wait. Uh, I know you. Yes, Sifu Kwok. I used to be your student. I'm Wei. Wei Shen. Ah, uh, yes. The one who went to America. So you brought this girl back with you. Uh, your skill level with girls, very good. Now time to <laughs> assess your skill level in Kung Fu.
when locked on, use movement to strike in different directions. Oh. When locked on, use movement. Attack each student with a directional, um, strike. I see time in America has rusted your skill. Okay, this is a good one. This will knock, um, enemies to the ground. The thing is, I'm typically not pretty good at fighting games, but, um, I did memorize a lot of the moves in this game, um... Ah. Damn, this guy, okay. There's that move. I think this is a little too much for practice. Try to steer them in the right direction, especially the younger ones. But they all want to be Song Ong Yi. Now, now I just train them in the ways of my art. Try to teach them compassion and discretion, and pray for the best. See, if I don't think there's much more you can do. Jade Rat. The Song Dynasty, right? Very good. The Song Dynasty? That's like a thousand years old or something. That's real? Part of a set of twelve. One for each animal of the Chinese calendar. The Sifu? You used to have the whole set. What happened to the others? Stolen. By a former student. Corrupted by the triads. I'm so sorry to hear that, Sifu. So was I. Hmm. This collection meant a lot to me. But sometimes you just have to let things go. I should close up. It was good to see you again, Wei. And your lovely fiance. What? <laughs> okay, uh, that was fun. What do you want to do now? Uh, I need to get home, but uh, I will definitely call you later. So, um, uh, what I'll tell you, though, is, um, uh, Sleeping Dogs, out of all of the open-world games that I've played, I think that, um, uh, S uh, Sleeping Dogs does the best job when it comes to, um, uh, park the truck and disguise in front of Popstar's court, uh, stake out his next move. Okay, we'll do that on the next part, um, but, um, uh, what I, what I like about the, the collectibles in Sleeping Dogs is that they actually do something for you. Like the, the lock boxes, they have money in them. The um, uh, the shrines, they give you health boosts. And the statues, there's 12 of them. If you find them every single time you bring them back, Sifu teaches you a new move, which is really useful. Um, so that's, I, one of your I hate when games oh, have useless collectibles. The dog, excellent. I must confess, I was surprised to see you back. I had hoped that you might have escaped Hong Kong. Escaped its influences. His problems. We took them with us when we left. So coming back didn't change much. Are you ready to confront them now? Yes, I think so. So let's learn a new move here. What is it going to be? What would you like to learn? Uh, let's see. Your um uh, your charge knee stuns opponents. Strike um uh after tackling the enemy. Hmm. Hold X, um, uh, do this one. Tackle strike. Four. Oh, I got this now, okay. Okay, I remember this move. 
There we go. You've forgotten everything. I just have to get used to this again, but I remember this move. You run right towards them, and then you knock them to the ground, and then punch them right in the face. Your other left wing. Someone please teach wing. Left from right. Oh, that's awful. There we go. Now I got the hang of this move. Somewhere your ancestors are Please stop by again if you find one of my steps. So there we go, we learned a new move. We learned that new move there. So collectibles are the best in Sleeping Dogs out of all the games that I've played. So um, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll have the next part up as soon as I can. Thank you guys once again. I'll see you guys. Take care, everyone.